Hello, Super Herd, and welcome back to. No, not Spoon. That's not right either. Welcome back to Splatoon Dune. And today we're gonna be going ahead and doing some more online mode and hopefully enjoying that. Before we do, we're gonna hit up the store because we're gonna be showing off our first weapon that we are buying. Of course, the first weapon we showed off was the default weapon, the Splattershot Junior. So we're gonna be showing that off as well. As I thought that would be fun to buy some also. Just like, a, let's just buy an outfit worth of stuff. So we'll buy some sunglasses. We'll buy these, sure. And then we will equip them. There we go. So there's our first item we've ever bought, some cool shades. I figure we'll do that for like the entire loadout. Just try to buy stuff that we seem to like. Let's actually try them on. That's not too bad. That's okay. Uh, That's pretty cool. I like that one. That mixes with our green right now. Now it's, I think, I think it's for me. Oh, but that's so cool too. I like all the clothing designs. I think I'll go with that. I think that looks really cool with the sunglasses. Nice. Okay, so we'll equip that. And I, I hope we don't spend a, you know, like a whole big bunch of coins today, but enough. Ooh, these are the first like really decent pair. Like, like these are good. These are even better. I think these were my Splatoon 1 shoes. Uh, The green are okay, but I really like the type of shoe that this is. So we're gonna do the red high horses, buy those. They were 800, not a big amount. And probably at today's episode, I'm gonna be starting to play the game outside of recording. I haven't been recording online mode. I haven't been playing online mode outside of recording, but I might start earning up coins behind the scenes soon. But either way, we now just get to go ahead and buy a weapon. You can see that there's tons available and we unlock more as we get more levels, but we're just gonna do them all in order, whatever we unlock normally. So first off, we're gonna be doing the splatter shot, or maybe not. Like we might do the splatter shot this episode, but I don't wanna do like two splatter shots in a row. That might not be interesting. I mean, it's up to you guys if you think it might be more interesting than I think if we do two things in a row like that. But for right now, splatter shots, we're gonna be showing off, we can get more weapon details right here. The Splatter Shop is beloved for its ease and handling and high potential. This is the latest model of the go-to weapon. The included burst bombs are great for both attack and defense, and the splashdown special doubles down on attack power. Very cool, that's a really good superpower. Uh, you can also use the splashdown as a defensive ace up your sleeve, so it's the perfect for it's perfect for learning the basics of battling. If you learn to make great use of this set, you'll be, the, uh, be a force to be reckoned with. This all-round set is great for mastering the basics of battle. Very cool, so that is 900. That's actually not too expensive. Our shoes that we bought were almost that expensive. So we'll go ahead and buy that. We get the Burst Bomb and the Splashdown, which will be great, and that'll be what we show off for today. We look so cool. We just have that like that cool aura to us. Thank you. Uh, I know you'll give it a good home. Okay. Sounds good, so we have everything we wanna show off today equipped, which is very, very good. It means we can just go ahead and get started. So for whatever reason, <laughs> We keep on getting Sturgeon Shipyard. I don't know if it's just because of the time I'm playing, or if it's just a matter of me being really unlucky, or maybe there's not as many masks as I thought, but we're gonna give the Splatter Shot a try, and it really is gonna be similar to the Splatter Shot Junior, of course, because it's in the name. It is a same weapon type, it's just, you know, a little bit different. Should be uh, some good things about it, though. And of course, we have different abilities to try out that we haven't yet to try out, so that's gonna be a big perk as well, like these bombs. I really don't know too much about these bombs, oh my. Okay, so that's coming for me very quickly. So I'm gonna go over this way if I can. Oh, somebody's definitely chasing me. Let's throw a bomb right there. But these bombs consume less, but of course they make a good splash. So it's really good for trying to quickly turn the tides of battle on somebody. So like, there's somebody coming up here. Oh, okay, I might be a little bit rusty to be honest with you because the first time playing tonight. Oh, come on, that was totally my splat and I messed it up. Oh yeah, that I am definitely might not be doing the best, but I'll try. And I had my superpower too, I should have just pulled it. So I will give it a shot. Um, I have a chance. Boom, throw that at you. And see, that's pretty good right there because as soon as you can get that ink on them, that's when you can turn things around a good bit because of course, then they'll be a little bit slowed. Okay, let's get up here and uh, I see you up there. What? Boom, no, it didn't get you. Ah, oh, they were too quick. I need to sneak up with them. I thought the animation for that was a little bit quicker. They pieced it together and just backed down. So that's my first time using the superpower though. So I have, you know, a chance to learn. Oh, throw that there, right on top of you. Where'd you go, where'd you go? Boom, got you. Okay, that was a really good one. And once again, a great use of that bomb. I threw it on them just to start getting them slowing down. And then if we get up here and um, we can start sneaking up on you. You're throwing your bombs everywhere, but you don't know I'm behind you. Nice stuff, sorry, man. <laughs> okay, so let's get up here if we can. And yeah, let's do what we can. I do wanna say, uh, I'm now recording this the day after launch day, so you can know how many videos I'm like sort of pre-recording right now. Um, 
and it's my first time recording Splatoon 2 after the launch day. And the videos have been doing great. Thank you guys so much for watching them. Either you're watching the story mode or online or anything in between. I just hope you're enjoying it. And so far, it seems like a lot of you are because every time I post more, you guys watch and you say, yay, more Splatoon. So good, I'm gonna slam it on you. Yeah, I got you that time. See, that guy did not react very quickly. Can I get you though? I can get you. We're doing pretty decent right now. I gotta fill up more turf though. That's sort of something I'm failing to do a lot because we can throw a lot of these things, but we also need to manage our ink. So let's do that. I feel like I definitely have a smaller ink tank with this setup than I did last episode, and that's just weird to get used to. Oh, I got you, but you got me. Oh boy. So I have them decent points, but I definitely need some more. If we take a look at the map, we are winning for right now, but that could change really quickly, especially if we don't get out here right now, and then boom, just start going crazy. Maybe that was a mistake. Okay, get over there, get over there. Wow, the double spot was beautiful. That was really good. I just sort of kept my cool and did what I could. You know, I, I, I what was what is it? Uh, don't cook, cook, stay off the hook. That's what I did, I, I didn't get cooked. Okay, so I think we won this one for sure. Unless somebody really snuck around us all and started tearing things up, which they did not. So that was great. I feel like there was a point in time there where it was pretty 50-50, either of us could have won, and we took the win. I really do love our outfit set up now. We look so cool. Awesome. <laughs> So there we go, we get our first one of the day with 18, 15 points, actually, that's pretty good. Only a couple points behind the number one person. Moving into level six, I think it was one of the lower leveled people in that game too, so definitely gonna try to level up all my gear today. That'll be nice and fun. And I figure I'll try to move on to new gear once I earn up a ton of cash, because I really do want to do a spending spree video, hopefully by like next weekend, because it's probably Sunday or Monday when this video is going up. Hopefully by next weekend, I can earn up a ton of coins and maybe we could have like a million coin spending spree because I haven't, like I said, I haven't played anything outside of these episodes. So I've only been putting in like an hour, two hours into online mode because you know that's just sort of what the video is total up to. So, if I can just you know spend some time after this video playing some online, I won't of course do or show off any, or I won't try anything out until I, uh, you know, show it off on camera. I won't do anything new so that you guys aren't missing out on any of the action, but I'll just use the setups I've already shown off and uh, use those to uh, get a bunch of coins and maybe I could get like 500,000 or a million coins over a course of a week, you know, while other videos are going up, of course. Don't worry, I'm not gonna just go off a week off Splatoon, you know, as soon as it comes out. But, you know, I, th I think it would be really cool to do a spending spree on Splatoon 2. It was something I wanted to do in the original Splatoon, but like I've said before, I was actually moving houses when I first, uh, started the Splatoon 1 series when the game came out. Okay, that was a pretty easy spot, but these bombs are still coming for me. Oh boy, so that's a pretty scary superpower. I haven't seen too much of is that Roomba onslaught. Now you don't wanna deal with that too much. All right, so I'm gonna throw that bomb over there, and then I'm gonna do this. Okay, that didn't work out exactly the way I wanted it to. I thought that maybe they would fiercely try to brave against me, you know, just run up to me. So I can't get up there from here, but I can maybe do this. Whoop! Haha, -ha. okay, so now I got some Uphill advantages that I can hopefully use properly. This guy, ah, that the problem there is that he wasn't shooting at me. He was just hoping he could get me with the bombs and that's not gonna quite help him out too much. So let's get some bomb over there and then I'm gonna get up here. Or not, I could just get stuck. Ooh, where's that coming in from? We got a few guys over there. Oh, I missed that entirely though. Oh, yeah, that was all my fault. If I wasn't so bad at aiming there, I probably could have gotten them, but. He just turned around and got me. <laughs> but aiming is just sort of something that takes a lot to get used to. I've been getting a lot of responses in some of my story mode episodes that people said that I should probably just change off of motion controls. And like, there's a point where I agree with you guys, like, if I'm not good with motion controls, I should probably just turn them off. But at the same time, this game is very engineered towards motion controls. Like, I, I think that most players have an advantage if they can master the motion controls above if somebody just masters the controls normally. How did I not get you there? Like, <laughs> I did eventually get you, but I feel like it took me longer than I should have. All right, let's throw a bomb there. Actually, I'm way lower on ink than I thought I'd be. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Or not, or not. Uh, okay, there are people everywhere. There are people everywhere, and I don't know what to do about it. Okay, oh, there you are, there you are. Oh no, you got your armor, dang it. Okay, and that's the guy we just got a moment ago, so he got his revenge. This is a close game. I'm gonna have to fly out here if I wanna do anything about it. This also might be just throwing me into my own doom. Okay, so we're up here. I don't know where you went. I, I had sights on you for a moment, and then you're gone. So I don't like that, but we're really gonna have to work really hard and successfully if we wanna win this. Because if not, they're going to you know take it from us. But we're definitely running out of ink faster than we would with the junior. And you know, that's not a bad thing. Get out of here, Ares. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, am I in Aries? I think I'm in Aries. Still, was born in April. Oh, ooh, that, I think that landed on him. The problem is that, uh, oh, whoop! Get out of here! <laughs> That was good, that was a good use of it. You know, I didn't get a ton of splotch with it, but if I can just keep throwing stuff, fill up as much ink as possible, somebody's probably gonna try to come over here and splat me, but while they're focused on that, I'm just gonna cover turf and hopefully we won. I feel like I did a lot of work there towards the end to help win. Oh, but look, all that on the right side, that is all me. That is all me, so we definitely lost. So we got one win, one loss so far. That's not too bad. And, you know, of course, I'm all angry over here. I think we were like a duplicate of that character to the left of us. Uh, but we did get top score on our team. I was five points away from a thousand. That's actually not bad, and we already got our second out of two ability unlock for these gear, so that's pretty good. I like it. Okay, so at least we're doing the reef this time. We've done a, the reef a couple times, but not too much. I only think like once or twice, so it'll be nice and good to get it done now. Seems like we're definitely being paired up with a lot of the same people, and of course, you know, it's sort of keeping us in the same room, so that's to be expected, but I noticed that like, it keeps showing me like the same Miiverse posts. I guess they're not Miiverse posts anymore because there's no more Miiverse. But in the uh, Inkling Towers or whatever it's called, Inkopla Squared, it's a lot of the same posts I see over and over again even if I like restart the game. I don't like that as much. I, I, maybe there's just not many posts right now because it is harder to make stuff on the Switch without a stylus. But people are, that's not stopping anybody. There are some people making some fantastic artwork in Uncompla Square, and I really, really appreciate that. As somebody who's not really good with touch screens, like, I, I, I envy that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, hey yo, goodbye. Hopefully, oh no. So that's something to keep in mind. While that was in my radius, it was an uphill advantage for them, which I guess gets them the victory. Well, I mean, not victory, but they don't get spotted by it. Okay, I'm just gonna wait right here, because I don't think they know I'm here yet. Oh, I heard you, I heard you. The advantage of having headphones in, I heard this person, I don't know, he or she, swimming up around the corner, and I just got ready. I was sort of a little hesitating though, I was like, ah, oh. I tensed up, so I didn't do ex you know exceptionally well with you know the actions after that, but I knew they were coming. So of course, sound design is important. Being able to pay attention to sound. I feel like, yeah, it definitely is harder to build up ink, but hopefully with their new abilities, it's a little more manageable. So I guess there really is a strategy you wanna you know pay attention to when you pick clothing, because certain abilities might be able to help you. I mean, at the same time, the same type of clothing can have different abilities at times. I mean, that's sort of something we learned in the last online mode episode, is that we could order a piece of clothing. Oh, you're almost down, I know you are. I know you are, once I find you, you're going down, dude. Oh, come on! <laughs> he got me, that was smarter than him. Smarter than me, he did better than I did. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back in there. And I need to earn up my superpower and use it properly. I just haven't been using it too long. Fill up all of this. They're winning right now, but it's not super one-sided. We can turn this around if we do things properly. But so far, I just haven't been doing that well myself this round. So I want to change that if I can manage. Okay, so you're over here. You're going to get me. Gosh darn it. It's me and this person all the time. Always battling. We got 50 seconds left to make something of ourselves. And I haven't really done too much of that. What have I gotten, like one splat? If that, have I gotten a single splat this round? Ooh, come on, come on. Let's get across to here and try to help out my teammate if I can. I can't, but I can get a revenge, that's good. Um, Let's throw that over there and then, I know you're, you're coming this way, so I'm gonna try to just prepare for you. No, yes, yeah, no, okay, it didn't work. Ah, oh, you are always getting the best of it, come on. <laughs> I'm excited to see that weapon, Arrow Spray MG. I've seen a lot of people spat me with it, which means I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna be awful with it. That always is what happens. So let's fill this up. I saw somebody over here, but I don't know where they went. So I'm just gonna try to do some damage control. Got you, hey, I got a revenge finally. Man, we did not win. We definitely didn't win. So one loss, or one win, two losses. We were closer, I think, than last round. Hopefully we can get this map again. I can redeem myself a little bit. Probably not though. Oh, we're back to Sturgeon Shipyard. <laughs> it just wants me to play this map over and over again forever, but we are in a new lobby, which might help, might not. We actually did have somebody in that last round who had zero points on our team, so that was a bummer. I'm guessing they just sort of disconnected, so that, that just sort of stinks. That might have been a reason why we were having such a hard time, is just because we were outnumbered. But hey, we've gotten some 50 50 ness on the Sturgeon Shipyard, so hopefully I can you know turn that around and it can make it more in favor of us winning. So I see somebody with the paintbrush, which is really cool, but also really intimidating, because I, I haven't gone against somebody with the paintbrush in Splatoon 2. 
I gotta say, even though I'm not really that great at Splatoon 2 so far, I am definitely a lot better. Who decided to fill up all of this? Because you don't need to, that's just a waste of time. You just gotta fill up the uh, the floor. If you fill up the walls, it actually doesn't count for the uh, turf. Oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. You know what, I'm gonna turn around, Never mind. Okay, well I feel like we started this episode great and it's been going downhill since that is quite the headpiece. I don't know what that is from. Not sure, but my goal will be to try to earn up level 10 and in the time, you know, get a little bit better so that hopefully, just hopefully, I can maybe hold my own in some early level ranked. Where are you? You're over here now, okay. Well, somebody got you. Some decent teamwork then. You know, I distracted them, they attacked them from the side. That's good. At least I can be like some kind of scapegoat, right? All right, well, I see you up there. Oh, that landed right on your face! Nice, that was a really good splat right there. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, 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 no, they spotted me when I was in the air, come on! Can that really happen? Oh, that stinks, I could have gotten a double splat there with it. I really am waiting for the moment where I get this huge ultra splat with everything. Because I know that I can do that with this superpower. I know you can get some crazy possibilities going on. It is fun to also have a more offensive superpower because besides this, I've only had the defensive armor, which is fun and you know has its own uses, but not really what I'm looking for. Okay, slosher guy, get out of here. Oh geez, I see you over here. I'm gonna help beat you up. I'm gonna help you or miss entirely forever for the rest of my life. Okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, I think you bounced back to wherever you're supposed to be. Okay. Oh man, why are there so many people with gem packs? Leave me alone! When I go up in the sky, I get vanquished. But when you go up in the sky, it's just such a big perk, isn't it? Oh man. And it's always like super one-sided. Either we get destroyed or we destroy. I just wanna see a nice even round that we still win. <laughs> okay, Slosher dude, you don't see me behind you and I'm sick of you, so you're getting out of here for sure. I'm gonna throw a bomb over there, fill up a little bit more, and they just keep on controlling the high ground really well. They've been doing really great at that. So I'm gonna get over here and then do this, please. That didn't get you. That didn't get you either. This guy's been ruining my life today. Well, not today, but this round. Last round, last couple rounds, it's been other people. But it's always consistently at least one person who just vanquishes me over and over and over again. Okay, you again, Slosher dude? <laughs> Oh man, I need to win more than one game an episode. Come on now. Okay, more reef. I haven't won on the reef yet, so maybe we can get our second one of the day here. Getting, you know, some new colors. Haven't played as pink recently. I think we played against pink, but I don't think we've played as pink. So hopefully, maybe that is my lucky color for the day. I just can't believe we started so well and it's gone nothing but downhill since then. We're gonna get a thousand points this round. We're gonna get a cool superpower splat down. Splat, or several of them and then I'm gonna win. We're gonna win the whole round. It's gonna be nice and fun. Set my expectations early. Throw that over there. Why is that person throwing their superpower out already? Nobody's around there. Okay, so I have my superpower. I'm gonna slam right here, and that's gonna do a whole lot of nothing. So I just get to start filling it up again. All right, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I don't know. Uh, well, I'm gonna go back here then. You know what? You know, if you back off, that's great because that gives me an opportunity to mo focus on new things. Better opportunities for me. Okay, uh, bit of a situation. Uh, gotcha! <laughs> Didn't think I was gonna turn around, did ya? But I did. You always gotta unex er, expect the unexpected. And expect the expected. Expect everything. Especially when you're dealing with a zebra who plays video games. Gotcha! <laughs> that's a cool little strategy right there. Just stick right here and then get up like that. And then, hello, goodbye. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I saw you there, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, you're over here now. Oh, gotcha, so I've been getting a lot of splats, but that doesn't, you know, really entail that we're winning. I need to fill up more. So let's go ahead like that. Maybe throw a bomb over there if I wasn't so low on ink. So yeah, ink management is much harder for me for this weapon. So we're gonna go like that and slam down on you because you don't see me quite yet. That did get you, that's very good. Throw that there, and then, we got some people over here who are not paying attention to me, so I'm gonna try to seize the opportunity. Oh look, their name is Green and they're green. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool, cause green's a cool color. All right, so I guess I'm gonna go around this way. Or not, haha, <laughs> see? Gotta expect the unexpected. That is the first lesson. And uh, not being awful at Splatoon. I'm still learning it myself, as you can see. Did I get a double splat there? <laughs> wow, I like it, I like it. Okay, so we're gonna go back around this way, just try to do some janitor duty because we seem to be really holding them back into their base, which is good, but also a bit scary. 
All right, so get this over here. Destroy you, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I can't slow down at all. We already got two of them splatted. Not vanquished, like I normally say. Okay, so let's get across here. And yeah, okay, they were about to pull up their, um, what's it called? Their armor. We did what we could with it. Okay, so that person is up there. I honestly might do this and then slam them. I got one, so that's good. We're doing decent, we're doing decent. Yes, got it, got it. Charge up, throw a bomb over there, sure, why not? Man, he's throwing his bombs everywhere. Where are you, dude? I see the bombs, I don't see the thrower of the bombs. All right, throw a bomb up there. That's gonna be helpful. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Where are you going, where are you going, where are you going? You got me, but I got you. That happened last time, me and Green seem to be tied. But hey, I think we did really good there. Did we do top scored? I guess we're gonna find out. But I feel like we did really well. We did some cool little strategies with everything and that was fun. Everybody's dancing and enjoying that time. I really do like these shoes. They look really good. And the shirt with the pants, like that looks like a good combo too. There's actually not a, an ability to choose pants, I don't think, which I don't like. Oh, I, did, I, I wasn't paying attention to the score then. Maybe we got top score, maybe we didn't. Does it really matter? I guess not. Let's keep going. Okay, oh geez, I'm joining a couple seconds late, but I'm on the team with the person who beat me up a lot last round, Green, so let's see. That's sort of the thing, it does jumble up the teams, but usually as soon as it jumbles up the teams after I win, we lose after that. So we'll see if that's the case here. Because usually it just puts me on the teams, like on the team with like the players that lost last round and puts all the winners, all the people who did better than me on the other team. Because I guess I, I, I'll admit, time and time again, I'm not that great at this game. I'm trying to get better, I really do want to get better because it's a lot of fun, and games are even more fun when you can compete. Especially if it's online multiplayer! I said unexpected, unexpected! Look what I did! Number one rule of Splatoon, splat things. Number two, expect the unexpected. Oh gosh, gotcha! <laughs> oh no, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. So that person's over there, I can't quite get them, but I can throw the bomb over there. Ah oh, man, my accuracy wasn't that great for that one. Because I started shooting as soon as they landed. I think we both started shooting at the same time. But their accuracy was better, especially since they were starting to shoot. Like, it seemed like they were still in the air. And for my picture perfect memory, that doesn't exist. Whoop. So it looks like somebody gave me their armor, armor so I will definitely. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. Okay, there's my armor gone. But I at least got a spot out of it. It's not the best, but somebody spotted them, so. As long as we have more people on the field than they do, we can end up keep splatting and keep uh, controlling the turf, which right now we are not really winning with the turf war. Um, but we can change that. I think the main goal will be to cover up the bridge. You know, like, the bridge isn't a very large strip of land, so controlling it might be a little bit uh, not worth it at times, but I think the uphill advantage gives you, gosh darn, how did I not do that? Somebody did it, and then that's great, but I just feel like I should have landed more shots than I ended up doing. Hmm. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I think controlling the bridge will be good because it means we'll have more of an uphill advantage that we can plop down onto our opponents. I mean, I say that, but I literally did that, you know, last life, and look how it ended up with me dying. Oh, darn, I think it gets the same person twice. Oh, I do like the splatter shot though. It is a fun weapon so far. It definitely consumes more ink than the splatter shot junior, or at least with the uh, setup with the hero gear. I did like that setup a lot. I felt like I was just getting a lot done while still having ink left over. Let's throw a bomb over there, just like that. Finish you off, and then, yep, finish you off too. Good stuff. So let's get over here. I gotta fill up my ink as much as I can, but then we're almost at our superpower, which is gonna be great if we could use that in a dire situation. Okay, so, nice, nice, nice. I did see some ink, purple ink flying around, which means they must be nearby. It seems like there's one person at the least here. I saw your shots heading this way, which means I did hear it, I did hear it. There's so much audio cues in this game. You can hear the shots we're making on means that we're, you know, doing damage to them. Okay, so it looks like we might have, you know, successfully turned everything around and we're about to win. Okay, slam down, slam down. Boom, I got a spot out of it, which is great. And more importantly, I can get up here and fill up more ink. Yeah, okay. I think we won that one. Haven't looked at the map in a couple seconds, but yeah, somebody was on the left side, but I think we won. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, we got it. Okay, maybe it wasn't close. It always looks so much closer than it is, right? But hey, we won, that's good. We get another 1,000 win bonus. Did we get top score this time? No, we got worse score. Yikes, look at me, I got so many splats. I was the top splatter, but that doesn't matter too much. I mean, at the same time, it's always good to have at least one player on your team focused on splats, right? If the other po people are focused on uh, filling up the field, like that's not too bad. But let's try that again. I definitely wanna you know, keep getting higher in score. That's like one of the few times I feel like I've been at the bottom of the score of my team, which I, I just, I don't like that. I wanna be able to keep high on the score. 
Well, we get another chance. We're back at turf four. So we've won the last two games. Can we go for three in a row? That'd be good. That'd make me feel better about all the losses we took earlier. Okay. Teams are definitely mixed up again. We see some people that were on our team last time aren't on our team anymore and vice versa, all that kind of stuff. Let's throw a bomb down there and fill up a bit more. And yeah, just even filling up turf for not that long of a time, it feels like I'm definitely running out of ink a lot quicker. And that's just sort of tough for me. All right, let's make our way across anywhere, really. But I have my superpower down, so I could just sort of rush in if I wanted to. Let's get ink across a few different spots. Okay, so I have armor, and I have my superpower. I definitely wanna pull out some risky stuff here soon, but I think first I'm gonna take care of you and then slam down on you. You're not gonna go into my radius, but that's fine because I can still take you out. Turn around, throw a bomb over there, sure, why not? Why? Who knows, who knows? Maybe it would just be an unexpected thing to do. So, so far we seem to be taking the charge overall, but they still have some turf sitting around everywhere. And I don't like that there's somebody chasing me. Fine then, I'll turn around on you. I'll turn around on you, or I, I don't know where you were. I think he was on the, the bridge. There were more than one person there, for sure. But I think the person who was uh, bullying me a bit there, I think he was on the bridge. Hi, pigeons. Bye, pigeons. Probably shouldn't be focusing on the pigeons. I got other things to focus on. Oh, threw the bomb there. That was really good. You're throwing your bombs. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Got you. So he had his armor and was uh, comboing up his superpower with it. That's interesting. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I wasn't expecting it. See what happens. How did I not see that person? I don't know. Like, I'm almost not believing that I didn't see that person. I don't know, it's weird. Because if they were on the bridge, it should have been plain to say. Oh, gotcha. See, that was good. And that was the person who just spotted me. So it's, you know, what comes around goes around. They weren't expecting it. So I just need to fill this up. Boom. And then I just need to keep on covering up turf. I, I guess it's not the best bomb in the world for covering turf. Because it just takes up more ink than it covers, I guess, in comparison to some of the other bombs, it feels like. Maybe I'm wrong with that. But it does definitely work for uh, splatting some enemies. Okay, let's make a line across there. And I'm not seeing too many enemies right now. But I feel like that's just sort of a big purpose of this weapon. Okay, you know what? Gosh darn it, I'm the worst, I'm the worst. Come on, come on, come on. Got you, but don't take me out with that bomb. Oh, got you too. But with the limited amount of ink, it does make it feel like it is a more splatting focused weapon. I mean, it's called the splatter shot, but I mean, they all have that kind of pun in their name, so you can't really say that. Hmm, let's get across to here, and, and I see you up there. You seem to have noticed me now. Oh, you, you, I saw you, and then you moved away. Then you moved away, then you moved away. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, and then I gotta hide. And then we're just gonna hide right here. And I'm gonna throw a bomb over there, sure. Oh, not too many people know I'm over here, which is good, because everybody's teleporting in for a sneak attack on the back, but they're sort of, you know, in our turf too. Fill you up, or take you out and then just go and slam. I think this will be the best way to fill up a whole bunch of ink at once. How did that not hit you? I don't know, but we did splat you right at the end. Oh, we won. I think we won this one. That was really close, because they were charging in, and if I was in that teleport spot for a lot of our teammates, I think we would have lost that one. So map awareness is really important. I think there were a few opportunities where somebody could have taken me out, but they didn't. So we won, and we got a second top score. That person on the top did really well. So I'm not gonna compete with that too much. But okay, we are charging forward to level seven, which is great. Hopefully we can get that soon. I wanna definitely play one more round, and then it should be changing maps. So I guess that'll be a good time to uh, finish it off. So let's do one more round for today with the splatter shot. This is so much fun, it's a really good weapon. But let's see what else we can get done. Okay, ink the most turfed one. I think I actually might be recording uh, more Salmon Run this time around. If you guys didn't see uh, online episode two, we did Salmon Run. It was so much fun. It's a really cool game mode. I'm gonna be doing our second episode of that the second time playing Salmon Run. It's like Infinity Time from Garden Warfare. It's really, really fun. And if you wanna see more of it, that should be next episode. What does that say? Oh, I'm using tilt controls. Mario Kart, not Splatoon. Everybody's using tilt controls, basically. And I found that what really works for me is trying to find a balance, right? Trying to find a balance between both, oh geez, we got a paintbrush guy. You know what happened last time we had a paintbrush guy? We got destroyed. Oh geez. Okay, so that's what that does. I don't know why that person right next to it didn't get taken out, but I did. Interesting. Um, One thing I found with the controls is that I sort of wanna, you know, like when I'm looking back and forth like this, I used a joystick when it's covering turf. And then when I'm more specific trying to aim around, I use the motion controls for sort of short flicking, but also concentrated motions. So it's just, 
that combination seems to be working really well because before I was so out of practice with motion controls that I either did all joystick or all motion and that just doesn't seem to work very well. I felt like there was another person down here. Uh, oh, here we go, now there is. They don't seem to see me just yet, but I see them and that's all that matters. Okay, so we're gonna get back over here and I see this person over here, hey, hey, no! Once again, when I use my superpower and a good opportunity, oh yeah, and he's like taunting me. Ah, oh, it's the paintbrush, people. It's always the paintbrush that ruins my day. Come on, come on, we're not gonna end this on a bad note, are we? We are winning so far. So you know what, they can splat me all day. If we're still winning, we're still winning. Okay, so I see you up here. And a lot of people use that to, okay, they were on my team, I think. <laughs> a lot of people use that rotating platform to their advantage really well. I just don't think that's gonna be something I'm gonna be able to do. <laughs> they had armor. Oh, that really messed me up. I didn't think they were gonna have armor, and they did. Should have expected it. <laughs> That's gonna be the lesson in today's video. Expect everything. I'm expecting that one of these characters is just gonna turn into a duck and start, you know, buy a steamroller and then use it to win the game right here in the middle of the level. That's something that would be very unexpected. Come on. I really don't like going against the paintbrush. And the guy's a total jerk, too. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. And... Uh, Wait a minute. Yeah, they're turning it around right now, so I'm a little scared, but if I throw that, no, I wanted that to go past that, but okay. I just need to get one good superpower. If we're gonna lose, let me get a good superpower. And there are more than one orange people heading over here. Okay, ooh, got you, got you, got you. Come on, you're almost down. You are almost down. I don't get how they're magically able to survive that. Come on. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna sneak up on me, I know he is. Oh, he's right over here, he's right over here. He's right over here, get it, dude, get it. <laughs> okay, slam, slam, jam! Ah, oh, I didn't get him. Okay, but I still got you. <laughs> I seem to got a bit confused after I did that. Oh, got you, got you. This is our time to turn it around. This is our time to turn it around. Come on, come on, we can win, we can win. We aren't letting no paintbrush people beat us. No, here he is, he's chasing me down. Okay, I don't know if we won. Oh man, did we win? No, I don't think we did. Ooh, that was really close, no matter what. No, we did win! Hey, okay, 45-39. Nice, I really like how he cleaned things up towards the end there, midway through the game, I was looking a little bit iffy. But once again, this person got the top score, they're really good. Okay, I'm really happy with how everything turned out this episode. Nice and fun, Splatter Shot is really darn good for splattering enemies, but not as great for covering ink. In my experience so far, of course, you can let me know your thoughts and your opinions and your strategies on the splatter shot in the comment section below. And of course, the superpower. Let me know some of the cool stuff you've been doing with the superpower. But I think that's where we're gonna finish things for now. I think that's gonna be it for today's episode of Splatoon 2 Online. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Inked Zebra so now you've watched it in the video and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.